Well, uh, my name is Roger, and I'm from Arizona. I grew up in Arizona, and uh, I've been a lifelong Republican. Uh, my dad was a Republican. And uh, being here from Arizona, I always really respected and admired uh, John McCain because not only he had this incredible military service for our country, but he also took this approach, you know, they called him the maverick, but he was a maverick for the people. He wasn't a maverick for himself. He was a guy that, that loved the country and took a nonpartisan approach to his politics. And I would say today's Republican Party is not my Republican Party. Uh, it's really the party of Trump. And um, this is where I, I believe we need to have change within our own party and bring it back to what the true Republican Party was. Yeah, you know, my, uh, my feeling is that Trump has, during his, uh, his term, really failed as a leader for this country. And, and my, my reason for that is, you know, if, if you're really leading a country and you're leading a nation, you're able to unite that nation. Um, in my opinion, what uh, Trump really wants to do is divide our nation. That's where he sees strength. And um, unfortunately, that's not good for the country. That may be good for him and his polls and his ability to be reelected, but that's not what this country needs right now. We need to be united as a country. Our country deserves a, a better leader, a leader that's honest, a leader that is moral, that respects other people and respects other opinions, has compassion, is humble, uh, but yet is a strong leader. And uh, we deserve so much more in this country than what we have today as a leader. Uh, in the election um, uh, in November, I will be voting for the Democratic nominee, and I assume that will be Joe Biden. I believe what he will be able to provide is that he will provide many of those characteristics that we need to be able to turn around some of the things that have been really taking away the checks and balance balances of um, the presidency. And I, in my mind, as a Republican, can justify voting for a Democrat in this election because I believe that Donald Trump is not a Republican. He is of the Trump party. I'm not voting for the Trump party.